Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Ha! Huh. Coming in with this week's Queen Sugar. Season 5, Episode 6. May 27th, 2020. 2020. And once again, own. are you going to continue to pay for all of our therapy right. sessions? <laughs> because that's what I feel like is going to happen if we keep going on this path of reliving all the trauma of 2020. Right. All right, y'all. We started off with Dollar and Ralph Angel. They are leaving to prepare themselves to go and celebrate their honeymoon. And I'm going to be honest with you. That was the most joyous part of this entire episode. Mm -hmm. That goes without saying. So they ended up at the local Motel 6. They had an oceanfront room. Did y'all yeah, catch that oceanfront hey. room that they had? Uh -huh. Did y'all catch Dollar trying to be sexy in her lingerie? <laughs> her candy birds bedroom Hey, candy? man, on your honeymoon, man, you got to make it do what it do, man. She wasn't making it do what it do, but I... She tried. I mean, Ralph liked she it, though. Ralph liked that's it. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Ralph liked it. <laughs> yeah. But it don't take men much. It don't take men much at all. Especially if we love you. <laughs> oh, it would still take a lot. It takes <laughs> no, a lot. No, yes, no, it does. Yes, no, it does. Because, no, hell, you've been together for so long, old tricks don't work. You got to oh. pull some new skin up. Oh, old stuff still work. We're not going to talk about that. Yeah, but, I um. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so. <laughs> We quickly went into what we know as the murder, the assassination, the modern day lynching of George Floyd. Mm -hmm. And we see Micah's reaction. We see Charlie's reaction. I knew and Mike we was knew take it hard. immediately what they were watching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, we know that Micah has already had a very traumatic experience with police already yeah. so immediately his mom even knew i need to get to my son because if he's seeing this i know this is setting him back yeah they both met in the hallway and it was like she didn't even have to say nothing immediately he just kind of just collapsed in our arms and we know that now we're gonna have to deal with micah being on his militant stuff because this is triggering for him mm -hmm. hell i've never been in an experience like that Mm -hmm. That's triggering for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So can you imagine somebody that's already, already had been through it. Yeah. that experience having to relive it and to see how extreme it could have went. Mm -hmm. That could have been Micah that lost his life right. on the side of that road. So we see Micah starting to morph back into his old self. Yeah. Where it's like he doesn't care about anything. Mm -hmm. Everything has to go like he's looking on the TV and he's seeing that the police department is on fire. He's verbalizing that that's right. That's what you do. Mm -hmm. And his mom is like, that's not the way. So they are battling with a lot with what a lot of people battled at that time. At that time, yeah. Is no, none of that is right. But what do we do? But what do you do yeah. when you keep saying love is enough, be uh, kind, do the right thing, Peaceful things, protest. Follow the law. Prayer. Do what you're supposed to do. Fast. And you're doing what you do to try to make things better for us. And, and these are still the results. Yeah, and they're still the results. So what do you do? What do you yeah. think? People going, people going, that's what they're going to revert to. Yeah, so real talk. And I even said it on my Facebook. I know a whole lot of my people got mad. I don't give a rat's. Hey, sometimes that's all they respond to. Right. They wouldn't have responded if we were just out there. No justice, no peace. Mm -hmm. No, they responded when those statues came down. Yeah. They responded when the when, um, when, when their the police were being burned trucks. Down. Well, I mean, when the yep. police cars were on fire, when yeah. the city buses were being burned up. Mm -hmm. That's when you start to get oh whoa 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 okay they real pissed off right now. Is it right? No, but it's almost like the bullying, like the bully at school keep tormenting the shy kid right shy kid does nothing shy kid goes to the principal principal does nothing eventually shy kid comes to school and whoops some a mm -hmm. and the bad part about it th this is where it gets kind of crazy because even though we go out and we did that it still ain't gonna like you said it still ain't gonna you just releasing some steam and some frustration mm -hmm. which i understand that but we all know these people man got big large and showing policy on their businesses so it's like they'll be down for a little while but they'll right but they'll they they they'll reemerge but i would love 
to know what the answer is to bring equality in this country for black people. I, I, I wish I had. I know some people say they got the answer. They think they have the answer. But I think we would try everything. everything. I mean, we would try everything. Everything. To my knowledge. Now, I could be forgetting something. But to my knowledge, we would try everything. And I, I heard somebody say, is in this country, you better be lucky that majority of black people don't want revenge. We just want equality. Because it, <laughs> it won't be pretty if all of us got out in the street. Now, some yeah. of us, yeah, some, some of us didn't do it. But, you know, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I don't either. I, I, it's, yeah. Yeah. And we, like, we live our lives so much so that we always try to do the right things, be the right people. Right. You know, um, our family is a melting pot. You're going to see every race in our family. You come to a family reunion, right. you don't know where one line ends and where another one begins because, real talk, we mixed. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, how do you even deal with all of that within your family without it being so offensive mm -hmm. because I was looking at the Nova and the um, Calvin, Calvin situation mm -hmm. and she looked at Calvin and she was like, and I know I'm jumping ahead, but That's we, we really just having yeah. a conversation right, right now. She was like, how do you feel? Like, how do you, don't y'all feel ashamed when you see someone do something to someone else? Yeah. Like, because us as black people, when we go out there and act a fool, yeah. we all feel like, yep. dang. Somebody why you you, here's somebody getting shot. Please, please don't, don't let, let that be nobody black. Please, please. Somebody go to Walmart, shoplift on, on yeah. the camera, and they on the news, don't let them be black. Because you, you know if they black, we're going to be set back. Yes. Yeah. So he said, I don't feel ashamed because that's not me. And she had to explain to him that. You know that's a part of white supremacy and white privilege where you actually have the privilege to, to be able to choose right. not to be ashamed mm -hmm. of something that someone does that's of your same race. Exactly. We don't even have that privilege. We're all lumped together. So when one does bad, all of us are doing bad until we can prove that we're not like them. Yeah. You all get the benefit of just being. Mm -hmm. And we don't. We have to. We have to prove ourselves. And I don't know if he got it or not. But I think that this is this is a crossroads for their relationship. Because if he does not stand up and take an immediate hard stance for what he does believe in, mm -hmm. this that's this skin ain't gonna work. Right. Because we we're too deep. <clears throat> what, what was that movie? Too deep in or in too deep? In too deep. I, I'm just, it's like, yeah, um, <laughs> it, it's a lot of stuff. And, and you'd be like, what is it? What is it about us? Because we're powerful. That this system take the need that they have to just take our life for no reason. Because they can't stop yeah, us. Because all of us are not thugs. All of us are not robbers. All of us are not killers. A lot, matter of fact, majority of us are some really good people. Most loving people. Would do anything for anybody. And I'm pretty sure George Floyd was the same way. I'm pretty sure he had some stuff with him, some shortcomings, like all of us have yeah. shortcomings. But when you balance out the books, that probably was a good brother. I don't know him. But balance the books is a good brother. Hey, I don't care if he was a bad brother. Yeah, you still don't deserve Yeah, correct. You still don't deserve it. Because we yeah. just saw a bad one yeah. just go and shoot up a grocery store. And he was handled correctly. Yeah. He was able to see the inside of a jail cell. So why do we have this system that we don't even allow us to get to so that justice can be served if that's the case? Now, when, when, um, when Nova was questioning Calvin about when he was in the same situation when, the, when his fellow officers was beating the black guy and he was like, why didn't, you know, she was like, why you didn't do nothing? And then Calvin was like, I was a rookie. You know, I was just starting, yada, yada, yada. And he was like, I did have the nerve to ask my partner, like, this was a little too far. Why did you do that? And he was like, it was a down payment so that when he get older, he know what to expect. And I was like, I never heard that. I, you ever heard that? I, I never heard it in those terms, but it was it's modern day breaking the buck. Like when this they brought I... the slaves over 
and the men were too masculine, the men were too hard and too to dominant, mm -hmm. the white men used to rape them mm -hmm. so that they could, all of that could just diminish, their strength could diminish. Yeah. That was pretty much what they were doing. Mm -hmm. They were breaking the buck. Yeah. So... Or, I, I or um, tar and feather us in front of y'all women. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that the women can then not have, have respect, respect for the black for man. For the black man. Because mm -hmm. how the black man gonna, going to protect me when he can't protect, protect himself. himself? Yeah. So it, it most of it is psychological. Mm -hmm. That was a very psychological thing that they did. But let's jump over to Hollywood. Okay, Hollywood is taking this thing hard, boy. He just So y'all know Hollywood's <sighs> mom just died. He yep. just cremated her. Didn't have a funeral, so he has this this closure that he's seeking that he wasn't able to get. And I don't know what that feels like. Thank God that I don't. Um, and then he's looking at George Floyd plead for his mom, mm -hmm. his deceased mom, something that he can immediately re relate to. Mm -hmm. And he's done. Like, he's yeah. just over it. Um, he's over there and he's talking to Vi and they are boarding up Vi's place because, <laughs> jumping ahead a little bit, Mike and them don't help, <laughs> don't help organize a protest down mm -hmm. in City Hall. So they know with what protest, if you are a business anywhere in the area, yeah, anything goes. Yeah, so living is a possibility for your business. Yeah, so they boarding up the place or whatever, and Aunt Vi was like, "You need to go down there and save some of this material for the real spot." He said, "I don't even care about that no more." I was like, "Oh man, we already know where this is going. If you mm -hmm. don't care about something that you put your blood, sweat, and tears with because of men's mental health, mm -hmm. he already is on this slippery slope." Right. So he asked Vi. He said, "Can you go in my toolbox?" And get more nails in that hammer. And then he was like, oh, oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, no, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, she goes in the toolbox and she finds his gun. Well, come to find out that Violet is anti-strapped up. Yep. No, that's not going to be in my house. I don't care what you say. And for and that's me. That's never going to be right for me. And I don't know if it's because of the way that I was brought up. That's normal. Like, it's yeah. normal to have guns in abundance mm -hmm. um, in my family. I mean, my grandfather taught us how to shoot when we were young. We mm -hmm. went hunting with my grandfather. Like, he really instilled in us that you have to protect yourself. yourself. And you have to know how to defend yourself. <clears throat> so, I don't understand. And it's not judgment. But I don't understand when I hear a lot of black people, especially black people in this area or from the South for stuff like that, that don't really get with that because racism has always been around us. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the easiest ways to defend yourself. And I don't understand. I think, it. I, I don't think it's necessarily because of racism. I know a lot of us have gotten into very bad trouble for picking yeah. a gun up and, you know, and using it, um, irresponsibly. So that's not the gun. That's the mindset. Yeah. The so person. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that I hope. I was hoping that Hollywood was gonna ask Vi like, why are you so anti-gun? Yeah. And maybe she might would explain where well, maybe it's somebody in their family or somebody close to them picked up a gun and some bad stuff happened and it didn't turn mm -hmm. out right. So from that incident, she's anti-gun. Yeah. Because so. I always go back to the thing like people die in car accidents every day. I still get in my car and I drive. You know, bad things happen. You be responsible for yourself. And what you're not comfortable with, continue to get comfortable with. Right. Because my motto in life is, if you got one, I got two. That's always been my thing. You're not going to come and meet me on my turf and you outbeat me. And I'm a stickler for always protecting yourself. And you don't necessarily yeah. have to have a gun. There is all kind of stuff out there. Like... Y'all know if you watch us on, you know, Life With Us TV, you know what we got going on over there. And we, t we told y'all, you know, over there, you can get taser if you're afraid of a gun. Just have something to you protect yourself. Something. You got to have something to protect yourself. Un it's unfortunate in this world. It is. But, It's yeah. like life insurance. It's like... Yeah. Yeah. It's an uncomfortable conversation. And you don't want to be that person. You, no. Like, I, I, I don't want to be that person to go out in the street and just, just start... You know, taking lives innocently because I'm trying to prove how bad I am. No. Now we see that on movies, 
And, and this is for our white brothers and sisters. What you see on the movies, the stuff of, you know, the killings and all that stuff like that. That's not we are not happens. all like that. Yes, some of us do that kind of stuff. But if you look at the the most of us are not doing that. We we hardworking. We trying to take care of our family, loving on our wives and our kids. That's we what we're YouTube, doing. Yeah, we on YouTube. Yeah, we ain't out here in the streets picking up no gun and going off trying to find somebody to shoot for no reason. We got too much to lose. Yeah, all right, no. So, I don't know. So, he did. He had the conversation with Vi, and she was like, and he explained it. He was like, at the end of the day, I have Blue. Mm -hmm. I got Mr. Prosper. I have you. Anybody tries to come and do anything to any one of y'all, right. I will go down and take that bullet, bullet knowing that I fought to keep you all alive. And he was like, that's all I'm asking is give me a chance to fight and protect okay. this family. The people that I love. And I was like, yeah, that, that's I mean, really that, what that's it's it. about. It's that's not it right about there. yeah, it's not about going out being a terror or a terrorist. Yeah. It's about if the terrorists come to you, you got oh, okay. you got something to defend yourself. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if we go, or at be, least give yourself a fighting chance. Like the old man said in Baltimore, we just gonna be some shot up my buckets around here. <laughs> so she still says she wasn't with it or whatever. So I was like, Hollywood. But I'm glad that she actually, you could see that she, she was could, understood. She felt what he said. Yeah, she know she's still not feeling the gun, but she understand like what he talking about. Yeah. So Nova, she's still having these hard conversations with Calvin. But did you see that Calvin's daughter was looking at him like, Dad, like... Did you really do that? Who are you? And yeah, so you stand around and watch this black kid get beat like this and you didn't do nothing? That's the way she was looking at Yeah, you. and she talking about some... I'm, I'm always side-eyeing somebody that's always trying to be accepted or be too in. She don't tell Nova and them, I saw, I, I seasoned my food because she cooked for them and all. I was like... I don't trust this chick. She's doing all the right things, but yeah. I don't trust this chick. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna keep our good eye on her. So we see Ralph Angel and Dollar. They're they're still on their honeymoon, having a good time, and his phone rang. And I said, "Who's about to call him and ruin his good time?" With the bullshit of the world, There's, I don't know any of you all that are married. When you are on your honeymoon, you are literally in your own world. Yeah, you in you in freaking marital bliss. Man, you just doing whatever it is that you're doing, and you're yep. doing it in abundance. Yep. And anything that is going on negatively, it can happen when we check out. Yeah, I don't want. I don't, don't want to know nothing about it. Yeah, let me know when I get back home. <laughs> so who calling? Hollywood don't call Ralph Angel and don't let Ralph Angel know what was going on and told him to look at the news. And I was like, Hollywood, this is going to be the first time that I'm going to be like, Hollywood, what the fuck was you thinking? Yeah. <laughs> and I understand you yeah, going yeah. and you want to head up your bra mm -hmm. to let him know that the world is shifting around you right now. So when you peek your head out the door, it may feel a little different. Maybe he should have called him on the last day. On when the they, last when day. When they get ready to come home. Because they only had two days left. Oh, man. They just had two days left. And they got that on the Groupon. I know they did. Hey, I ain't mad at him because, matter of fact, we not it, gonna go there. It made me think about when we had our honeymoon. Which, if you follow us on life, when we talk about how we were really struggling when we first got married, yeah, we and not having a lot of money, so of we course, were poor, we were poor. Yeah, so a honeymoon was down the street to Williamsburg on one of them vouchers you can buy for like forty nine dollars, <laughs> and you know to verify your age, make sure you're making at least fifty thousand dollars a year combined. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so we did the, the so on our honeymoon we taking tours and skit, man. And um housekeeping kept walking in on, on us. Yep. I was so like, that's how that's how we did it. So I ain't mad at you, Ralph. You you y'all did what y'all could afford, man. Even you put a flash screen TV up there with the with the, with water. the board in the background. Make it do what it do, man. But Stella said, why is the ironing board hanging on the wall? I said, stay out their business. That's stay out their business. They don't with swimming and everything. Yep. So Ralph Angel broke down and the struggle of a black man. Like, what the heck? And they decided they were going to cut this honeymoon short because they needed to get home. Dollar wanted to cut it short. Ralph well, was like, we got, I got two more days yeah, to go back and deal yeah. with this. She wanted to get home because she wanted to deal with Blue. Blue. Want to make sure he was good. But on the way home <clears throat> to go deal with Blue, they had to stop by a gas station. And Dollar had on a shirt that says, um, Black Moms Matter. 
or something like that, which was very misplaced because yes, we always live in that Black Lives Matter, Black Moms Matter movement, but she ain't know what had, had just had happened. So why you got that shirt packed in your honeymoon bag? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we'll let you live. So she's she has a shirt on and you see this old hillbilly Trump supporter that looks at them and was like, mm. well, if I had on a shirt that said white moms matter, you would have a problem with it. All lives matter. And Ralph Angel was like, yeah, they all matter. But until my life, life matters, matters, they don't. They yeah. don't. No yeah. one else's matters until mine does. And that's that's exactly the sentiment that we have. Mm -hmm. Yes, all lives matter. Do y'all know that though? Right. Do y'all know that? And until we keep waving it in your and stop waving it in your face, we're not gonna let y'all until we feel it, until mm -hmm. we know. So they had a little exchange, and then homeboy gonna tell Ralph Angel he got what he deserved. He was resisting. Oh, I and it's it. so infuriating when you can look at something. And they see something totally different yeah. than what happened. Right. I'm like, is this a mental illness? Like, cause I have literally been on news outlets in the comment section and was like, what happens from here to here yeah. that allowed you to see something that was not there? That didn't happen. No resistance at all. Nope. Even if he did. It still, it still wasn't justifiable to keep your knee on his neck like that. Who wouldn't resist? That yeah. took a lot of restraint Yeah. for someone to have a knee on their neck and not respond. How do you... That man was fighting for his, his life. life by not fighting for his life. Yep. I'm, I, yeah. Okay. All over a $20 bill. Come that on That came out to be real. Real. $20 bill. That $20. you got somebody that's working there that doesn't know how to identify older bills. And like Vi said it perfectly, is that the going price for Black Lives Now? Twenty dollars. And the thing about it, this none of this stuff is new. No, this, this has been going on. No. It's been like this for years. And uh, I think it was Will Smith who put it out there. Just the only thing is 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 not getting worse. It's just being recorded. Yeah. So we got our cell phones and stuff now, so we able to record what's going on. But this this has always been 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 happening. Yeah. And I. Me, personally, I don't even think it's ever going to change. I don't either. I don't think it's ever going to change. And that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Yeah. And then we also have to hold ourselves accountable as well. Like Nova says, we don't have the privilege of not holding each other accountable. Because when one does, we all pay. Yeah. We got to stop being out there acting like that. Mm -hmm. I looked at Miami this weekend and I was utterly disgusted that we're in the middle of a pandemic. And it's like... Free, 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 free. We all want to have some fun. Mm -hmm. But when are we going to take charge of our own lives? And we don't stop talking about this pandemic. Whatever it is, it's here. Yeah. And we have to be responsible for our part. Yeah. So we can get out of so this. So we can get out of this. So we yeah. can get back to the free, free, free. Yeah. Because I definitely, I'm, I'm ready to hit a dance floor somewhere. Club or something. Yeah. I'm but ready. then when you had somebody that was in the White House not even over three months ago that herded his people up, I mean, I guess what can you expect, but we're we not on the same playing field. Hmm. Micah, we're going to change the subject. Micah and Charlie ended up going to the protest. But Micah at first thought that Charlie was judging him. And was like, don't you go out there getting into no trouble. Make it peaceful. Make it this. And when he was on his way out the door, she was like, uh, do you he have any more of those shirts? shirts? He was and like, he was like, you, you, you yeah, ain't got some more of these shirts. If he did not skip it and pat pat up them steps and got her a shirt. But I don't know why she is so surprised at how Michael responded to this. Because he he's her. her. Yeah. Every time there's a fire. Charlie is going to put it out. Yeah. So, Michael, the same way, especially with this one being so close to home, you knew he was going to do something. Where was Davis West? Like, why Davis I was getting, West? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where was, yep. Where was he at when this was a male-dominant episode? Yeah, that would have been a perfect time for him to call Michael and see what's going on. Yes. Especially after you know your son the has been through that. Yeah, I was, 
I really, I, even if we didn't see him, I did think we. Now would we're him. talking like this is real life. Well, know? it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I was hoping that we would actually hear a phone call from him, but like, mm-hmm. son, I know. That Maybe you, next episode. Maybe. Maybe we'll hear. But it needed to happen on the day that it happened, though. Yes, for real. Sir. It needed to happen on the day that it happened. But he probably was out there cheating again with somebody else. So you can't happen. cheat if you ain't got no no wife. He, you know, he got somebody else by now. Men like that don't stay <laughs> single. They gotta have somebody, <laughs> and then they cheat on them. Shout out to Martel Hope. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what that has happened? Uh, so we see Dollar and Ralph Angel, and they got. This broke my heart. Yeah, that had to swing that to blue. They got and... home and they had the black boy conversation mm-hmm. with blue. It is so heartbreaking when you have to break a child's innocence to bring them into the realization of a cruel, cruel world. Yeah. And they had to have that talk with him. It was like, there's bad people in this world. And Blue was like, my teacher said, there's no bad people. He said, unfortunately, your teacher is not telling the truth. They're very bad people. I wish it was true. Yeah. They're <laughs> bad people that's going to look at the color of your skin and treat you differently. Yeah. You're going to be stopped and profiled because of the color of your skin. Yeah. It's not going to be if it happens. It's going to be when, when it, it happens. happens. Yeah. And I need you to know how to conduct yourself. <clears throat> and when Blue said, it started crying, and he said, but how do I stay alive? And I yeah, said, yeah, I was like, yeah. And even with Ralph's explanation, <laughs> it's still a chance. Yeah, it's still a chance. That still a chance. You might not stay alive. Mm-mm. And me yeah. and my sister-in-law was having this conversation around this time. For all of y'all don't know, my sister-in-law is white, 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 white. And my niece and my nephew were biracial. Mm-hmm. And she was like, when do I have these conversations with my children? And it's the same thing. And it was like, when do you break their innocence and their purity of the world mm-hmm. and bring them into the realization that skit gets real? Yeah. And I didn't have the answer this world, to that. I don't have because mine are, are are four and two. And I was like, I don't have the answer to that. I yeah. Don't have is, the answer to that. Which is so crazy. Like Martin Luther King said. You know, we ought to be judged by the content of our character and not by the color of our skin. It's bucked That's, up, man. Yeah, man. It is bucked. It was a heavy episode. Yeah. But it's it's conversations. It's table talk conversations. Yeah, because we could talk on this on and on. All day. All and on. Like, we were talking about it in our friendship circle. And we were talking about, like, as a wife, whenever our men Ladies, leave the house, mm-hmm. it's like this overwhelming feeling of what are they going to face when they're out there and are they going to come home to us and if they come home to us are they going to experience something that's going to forever change them yep you know and then not only do you have that then you have other black people that's bucking with you too like I sit here on YouTube all day long you got the craziest freaking people that come through and say the most Stupid, stupid stuff get to you and <laughs> for no I, reason like what where'd that come from and i sit there and i go right back at him and i said of all the things going on in the world this is what you were doing yeah make that make sense to me because hmm. i got a whole lot of people that i can give you a name i can give you a list that you can just start bucking with and i'll help you <laughs> and you come over here and you buck with your own for hmm. no freaking reason yeah something's wrong with us too Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla! Boom!